All right. No, Walt. Hey. Hi, Jake. Hi. It's an honor to meet you. You're in all of my favorite shows, nearly all of them. Um, I also play Guild Wars 2, and it's just great to hear your voice. Thank you. And I kind of have a strange request. Yes. That is my life. <laughs> Times it sometimes it sometimes it sometimes pizza times pizza. <laughs> Any sense to anybody? Show of hands, anybody? What? Oh, there are. Okay. What is that from? Oh, okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Pizza for everybody. On him. <laughs> Hi, welcome! Yay! Yeah. You survived so far. Yeah. Um, so, during the season finale of Legend of Korra, yes. I don't think I've ever hated a character as much as I hated Mon. Thank you. <laughs> Mission accomplished. The revolution has begun. <laughs> As a person, yeah. uh, I think he's damaged. Yeah. Actually, I, I think, uh, especially towards the end of the, the particular incarnation mm -hmm. of the series, spoiler alert, close your ears. Um, I actually felt some compassion for him, especially when you know they revealed his history with his brother and his father. That uh, I actually felt some compassion for the character, as as I do for all characters. And and you know, every bad guy doesn't necessarily start out that way. They they are in it for the right intentions initially, and they just, something gets twisted up in them. So I think it's, that kind of character for me is sort of a lesson in compassion. And, uh, you know, as evil as he turned out to be, and as many people as he hurt, uh, his original intention was really just equality. And, and uh, so that, there's a, a nice message underneath all that, I think. And to have compassion for even those we really do hate. I have a request, if you could do a voice in the uh, yeah, but we, we only have 10 minutes, so I might have to do it in another situation. Okay. Is that okay? okay. I just want to make sure that we... Yeah. Four yes. Okay, thank you.
maybe come down there. All right. <laughs> Danger in the room. You think it was going to be that kind of stuff? All right. Hi. Hi, Steve. Hi. It's Faye uh, Valentine from yesterday. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Uh, my, my question is actually voice acting as yes. well. Um, I know the biggest advice that a lot of voice actors give is to move to the market. Yeah. Well, um, yes, I'll, I'll address that. Yeah. Um, um, do you know, I know LA and Houston were big ones, but do you know of any up and coming um, markets that are around at all? <laughs> Those are the biggest, I would say, in the States. New York has its own thing. It depends on what kind of voiceover you want to do, too. If you want to do commercials, New York is a great place to do that. Uh, for anime specifically, if you're doing it to make a living at it, uh, there really isn't a good place, honestly, because most people that, that do anime have something else going on. So anime doesn't pay very much. Um, but now it would, it would be Texas or California. Those would be the places. There's still some stuff coming out of Canada. Uh, or go to Japan, learn Japanese, and do some there. <laughs> yeah, but anime is tough. It's it's really tough, and uh, you kind of have to be where the work is to do that. And again, you got to do it for the love because you ain't gonna survive on anime. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. What was that? They're doing some anime at Cartoon Network. Oh, good. Okay, well, there's there's the answer. He says they do some stuff here in Atlanta, too. Awesome. Thank you for that. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, first off, all you guys, I know I'm from a game that has to run voice I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. Uh, first off, I know I have nowhere to talk to you. I'm dressed as a character from a game with terrible voice <laughs> I don't judge. Uh, secondly, <laughs> congratulations on breaking the Guinness World Record. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. That was really weird. Uh, but here's my question. I'm a huge anime nerd, I'm a huge video game nerd, and out of all your voices, my favorite is gotta be the one you kind of use for like Orochimaru or Sergei from the Sword of Wrath. Uh -huh. But I was watching, for the first time I think uh, The Dark Knight Returns the other day, and I heard the video from like, wait a minute, why isn't Steve Bloom playing this? Because somebody else already is? Uh, that's my one question. I'm like, if someone ever offered, ever offered you an opportunity to play the Joker, which you made? Uh, as long as it didn't interfere with my friend's gig, yeah. Because I, I mean, the guys that, who are playing the Joker, or who have played the Joker, are all my friends. So, uh, I actually am one of those guys that if, if I get booked for a role, if somebody else has been playing that role, I'll call them up and ask their permission to do it. Uh, just because they're my friends and I want to make sure that they're done doing their thing or there is some legitimate reason why they're not doing it anymore. But I'm not a poacher, you know, I've been so lucky with my career that you know, the guys who are doing it are great at it. You really can't get much better than Mark Hamill or Kevin Michael Richardson, the guys who've been doing Joker. They're just astonishingly good. So. Also, uh, what's that? Uh, Chris Smith, too. Thank you very much. Yeah, Richard. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my name is Cody. Howdy. Um, it is over 9,000. I was just wondering, um, how heartfelt was it that you got brought back as Tom? Oh man, well, we've addressed this before, but uh, it, it's it's an amazing thing. I mean, every time I step into the booth, I'm, I'm unbelievably grateful for the opportunity to do that. To the point where I'm on Twitter with you guys every Saturday. It's Saturday, it's on tonight, baby. So I'll be tweeting about it. Yeah, so it, it never gets old, it holds a really big place in my heart. Yeah, and for my birthday, can I get a, uh, your hand Yeah, baby, come on. 